Hello everyone, welcome back to Johnny's YouTube NASDAQ channel. Today's YouTube video is going to talk about Checkpoint R80.40 lab. We're going to focus on antivirus and the bot. This is our topology used in whole lab. We have DR firewall, we have management server, we have test machine and router. Simple, easy, straightforward lab environment. We have firewall, our smart cons are already connecting to management server 192.168.2.37. This is our gateway gonna use to be in this lab. Previously we already enabled IPS braid on threat prevention. To make it simple, this lab we're gonna enable anti bot. So we're gonna use in a threat prevention policy. You also can choose detect only. Anti-wireless. For threat emulation, threat extraction, you may need a little bit of service in the cloud or your local gateway should have that virtualization or capability and enough disk space to, for you to enable both. For this lab, we're going to focus on anti-bot and the anti-wireless only. Click OK. Um, next step, of course, just push the policy to the gateway. Install. Okay, the policy installation succeeded. We are going to update our policy definition. Um, when you click security policy, this update option here, you will find out the schedule. You can do update now. You can also schedule an update for your anti-bot, anti-wireless and IPS. Also, when you go to Access Tools, you can see Update. You can do immediate update, like management update, right away. I already updated before, so the applications are updated so far, and then you can check your updated protection from Threat tools, you will see the last update time. The IPS was updated September 14th, before, that's a long time ago, but the four others updated today. Uh, it's October 11, 2020. You also can look at your profiles. So I'm using this profile, test streak profile in uh, policy. This is uh, what we are using for any protect the scope which is any internal your network internal dmz network they are going to use test strict profile which is cloned from a strict profile you can add it to take a look your protection you can see threat protection ips anti bot and antivirus has been enabled Performance impact is high or lower. Severity lower or above. That's active protection. For confidence level, if it's a high confidence level detection and the medium confidence confidence detection, they will prevent. For low confidence level detection, they will just do detect, which is monitoring. You also can check antibot settings and antivirus settings. Both has been set to prevent is blocked. The policy is here. We already pushed the policy. The next step is to the testing. We're going to go back to our test machine, launch the website using threadwiki.checkpoint.com this website. You can test anti-wireless, test anti-bot, 
test threat emulation. You also can use Checkpoint CheckMe website to do testing as well. You can test in your network to check the security from your browser. Let's see what kind of result we will get. Malware infection has been protected. Command and control communication has been protected. Zero day is in progress for testing. Protected. Browser exploit protected. Anonymized usage interesting is not protected and DLP is not protected because we didn't enable DLP braid. And for anonymizer, probably its reputation IP is not listing there. It's interesting, but we got the most of our detection has been protected. There so also has endpoint this is endpoint protection require downloading and running an executable file. Very interesting and we also can do that. We don't have antivirus, anti spam and the malware protection installed on our endpoint. So it might not get good enough result, but we will see how it goes. We need to download executable file here. Download. We can save the file. It's a 1.4 megabyte file. You can double click, run it. Disappeared. And now it's continuing to the testing for malware infection, command and control communication, browser exploited, ransomware, persistent malware. It may take a few minutes to finish the testing. We will see the result in a few minutes. At the same time, you can go back to our logs to take a look at detections. And searching all logs for last hour. Our test machine is the dr host 17217. Let's add it filter. As a source IP, you can see lots of blocking job the packet. We also can check from the plate. Let's try one by one and the bot. Ah, we was we are seeing some anti bot detections here. Okay, Ten. Right now it's A11, so we do see some blocking. And then we can try antivirus. There's some antivirus. We was check from here, test antivirus. ICA file, basically download the ICA file, the connection was reset. Basically, it wasn't allowed to be downloaded. Log is wasn't showing here, but we had clearly see that file wasn't being able to download it. Let's check on the blade as well. And the malware blade didn't find anything here. And the exploit braid, nothing. Oh. 
anti-ransomware operate nothing anti-spam operate no, nothing It also has other braids, but um, unfortunately, I don't think we can find too much information other than there's a bunch of information for IPS. That probably coming from the testing we made for check me. So the check me assessment has been done. So we can see command and control communication has been blocked and ransomware was been blocked because we don't have endpoint protection software installed on our machine so the result wasn't good as pre previous one but that's a basic idea how you enable anti-wireless and anti-bot protection on your checkpoint firewall and how you can test it Thank you for watching.